Hello and welcome to another episode of Tea Time SEO. Today we're talking about competitor analysis. More specifically, how can you use something like the SEMrush toolkit to see what your competitors are doing? Now, I get a lot of people asking us um, some SEMrush tips specifically, so I thought we'd put together this video and bundle it with the competitor analysis. Now, you can try SEMrush for seven days for completely free, so get on that and give that a go if you want to have a look at what we're doing today. Now, the first one is the Market Explorer. So I love this tool because I can literally go and I can almost see in a quadrant where everyone is. The game changers over here, emerging websites with high growth, and then you can see the other people here, the leaders, other people that sit in that niche players, the established players. I can see who's getting the most share of visits. Is that through social or paid? I can look at the top pages over here. And it's insane to, to have a look at how much data you can really see in this. Uh, it's so handy for getting an idea where you sit in these quadrants and what's going on. So definitely check that out to get an understanding of what's going on and even just a trend by device. Um, another really cool feature is just the organic research tab over here. We can see the traffic cost, the, the traffic, the competitor positioning map, what common keywords we have. Um, and, and see who's who's kind of there in what in which spaces, which is really really cool. And then looking at those keywords, I can then sub in some of those keywords that I've seen in the or some of those competitors I've seen in these other graphs, and start seeing where we have overlap. And it gives me this beautiful chart here where I can see where we're overlapping on keywords. I can see Dirt Bike Bits has got a you know solid overlap over here. We're sharing 2,000 keywords and we're sharing another 2.5 thousand keywords here. And you can just see all the different keyword gaps we've got. And then I can look at this table here, which will tell me exactly which keywords and where they're ranking, the volume, my traffic for this, and what's coming through. So I can look at this and go, hmm, I should be doing some stuff on motocross boots because it's a high traffic volume for the other competitors and they're ranking a lot higher for us. So how can I get on that? And I can just get a whole list of insights just based on some basic keyword gap analysis that I've done here. You can also then look at a backlinks gap. So I can look at all the backlinks that my competitors might have, what I'm missing, and then match the two up. So that not only have I got amazing content for that keyword gap, I'm looking at where I am in this quadrant, but I can also start outreaching to get some of the backlinks that my competitors have. And so there's some of the awesome different things you can do within SEMrush to get an idea of what's going on and what your competitors are doing to give you a more successful SEO campaign. So this is just a quick video running through some of the different things that you can do within SEMrush that you might know about. Uh, if you appreciate it or if you enjoy it, leave us a comment and let us know if there's any other parts of any other tools or SEMrush that you want to see specific bits of information on. Till then, I'll see you in the next Tea Time SEO. All right, so when you're doing backlink analysis, competitor analysis, it's important that you compare apples to oranges. I mean, oranges to oranges. Make sure that they're the same. You can't compare a tea to an orange. You get what I'm saying. Make sure that's apples to apples. See you in the next one.